Okay, we're back for another little look and I wanted to show you in particular how the iPad handles some of the stuff that you may well already run on your iPhone. So I'm going to start off just by showing you um, the, let me just turn this around so we can do this, it's one of the benefits of the uh, 360 as I'm, as I'm calling it. And let me just show you this. Um, exactly the same first press takes you back to the home screen and then the second press takes you back to there so we can type anything we want in there and find it for when the screens are getting full um, a lot of you have probably used this I've reviewed it for PSC before and uh, TV catch up and uh, you just put that on your home screen and it's uh, iphone.tvcatchup.com works very very well on the iPhone as you probably know just going to show you how that works on the iPad um, sort of works works very well actually works exactly the same in terms of the uh, functionality it's it's live TV despite the name of TV catch up um, but if, I guess if you've got this with you you can catch up with live TV whenever you desire um, and it's pretty good. Um, some of the video streams are better than others. You can have it in that way, or you can have it that way. You tend to get slightly better quality in portrait uh, mode, of course, because it's smaller. That particular stream that I chose there is, in fact, very good. Um, some of the others haven't been as good that I've been playing with this afternoon. Let me just go back and... Uh, do that for you. Uh, BBC One for example, um, which should be the one show I guess. Um, this is an external report so we can't really tell the video quality but it wasn't fantastic in that mode. Um, but sort of watchable if there's a game of football or, or something you want to catch it's actually quite usable in a pinch um, to, to use. I haven't really tried, it tells you when the things are offline, it says offline on that one. Haven't really tried any of the uh, other other stations, but so film film one, let's have a look, see what, see what they are, film four rather. Um, see what the quality's like on that, rather dark picture I'm afraid. Um, probably watchable in a pinch I guess but not fantastic. Um, but for catching up, for example, with something like BBC News while you're out and about, uh, very good, very strong. And, um, yeah, it works, works really well, I think. Uh, and that's a little, little bit for you on how it might replace a TV set.